It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Seven Brothers Brewing Company and it's a can of their Pineapple Pale. Uh, this beer is 5% ABV. It's in a 440 milliliter can and it's described as juicy, fruity and tasty. Uh, there's a look at the beer. Pineapple pale ale. Um, we'll see what type of pineapple pale this is. It could be a beer brewed with certain hops that make the beer taste a little kind of pineapple-y, a bit of tin pineapple or something like that, which some hops can do. Or it might be adjuncty. It might be concentrated pineapple flavours. There's only one way to find out. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, wow, that went everywhere. Okay, so we've got a two finger white head. Small carbonation, making its way up the glass. It's not straw colored by any means. I would say it's more of a kind of yellowy, ambery, hazy liquid. Uh, there's no sediment whatsoever in the bottom of the glass. Uh, let's get the aroma on the beer. Oh, it's um, quite... Quite biscuity, actually. Quite a biscuity aroma. I was expecting... Let's make no bones about it, let's be honest. I was expecting more of a big plunge of kind of pineapple aroma hitting me in the face. But pleasantly, pleasantly, and I'm happy with this, this is more of a biscuitiness and the aroma is more of a beer. That might sound strange at this point in time, calling a beer a beer, smelling like a beer, got the aroma of a beer. But I've had some of these beers recently, which ice cream pale ales and rhubarb and custard pale ales, and they just like basically stunk, <laughs> stunk of anything other than beer. At least this has got the aroma of beer. Yeah, there's some malt in here. There's some oats in here. There's biscuity and bready. It smells good. It does. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. And yeah, taking my time, took my time with that. I just wanted to experience the whole flavour profile. That's not bad. That is not bad. That is, that is something that I would drink. Credit where credit is due. That's my philosophy. And there's some credit here, there really is. It's more, it's more hops. It's more of a pineapple-y kind of hoppy flavour coming through. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's much more hoppy than I was expecting. You stand in the supermarket shelves 
You look at beers, you look at foods, you make decisions, don't you? If I wasn't a beer reviewer, then I probably would have picked this up in Asda, looked at it and put it back down again and gone, ah, nah, pineapple and beer, not for me. And even as a reviewer, even as a YouTube beer reviewer, I picked this up and I was like, oh, what do we have here? I was expecting a lot of adjunct. I was expecting a lot of kind of hairspray. Some of these beers with a lot of adjuncts in, which I was expecting with this one, have a lot of kind of hairspray, kind of drying, like you sprayed hairspray in your mouth. And and and, and the, 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 the concentrates, the pineapple concentrates would have been awful. But thankfully, and I want to make this clear, thankfully, yes, there are some pineapple flavours in here from concentrates. They're there. But they're not overpowering. They're not killing the beer. They're just hints. They're hints of pineapple. And I can really deal with that. I can really, as long as a beer's tasting like a beer. There's some malt, there's some oats, there's a nice creaminess to it, there's a nice richness to it. It's a little bit peppery and spicy. There's sweetness over here from the malt. There's a little bit of bitterness from the hops. And then you get a little touch, a little fleeting touch of pineapple. That's perfect. That's exactly how I would choose to brew a beer like this. Just have a little fleeting touch of pineapple you don't want you're just calling out northern monk and their rhubarb and custard pale ale that sat on the shelf next to this it was like drinking a can of ambrosia custard it was horrible it was one of the worst beers northern monk have ever produced and <laughs> I asked the question, is this whole thing a joke? So you can imagine when I come round to reviewing this beer, I'm thinking, oh my goodness me, what's this now? Pineapple pale ale. I got into the review on, on, on the back foot thinking, oh, what's, what, what am I going to be drinking today? But thankfully, thankfully, it's, it's, it's put me in a positive frame of mind. It's put me in a positive mood. It's tasting good. It's tasting good. Fair play the Seven Brothers. We've infused this parallel with pineapple, making it the perfect summer beer. Dry hop with Brew One and Amarillo Cryo. Amarillo are good hops. To really bring out the tropical flavours. Seven Brothers Brewing Beer, that's right. Each of us look at little things a little differently. Look at things a little differently, sorry. But one thing we all agree on is brewing great tasting beer. Malted barley, oats, wheat. Of course, hops and yeast as well. Um, I've had one or two beers from Seven Brothers in the past that I've not been incredibly enthusiastic about. But then again, I had a honeycomb stout from Seven Brothers just the other week, and I liked it. Following that beer up with their pineapple pale, I liked that too. So my opinions definitely changed on Seven Brothers Brewing Company and their ability to brew good beer. Because there are brewers out there that you look on the shelves and you go, do you know what, I'm going to give that company a miss. I'm, going to, I'm not going to deal with the, I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kind of, you know, we all know who they are. And I'm not going to buy their beer anymore. And I almost got to the point with Seven Brothers where I was like, I'm not going to drink their beer anymore. But, 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 but two beers the last two beers i've reviewed from seven brothers have been solid they've been good and my mind has been kind of i've been brought back from the brink if you like uh with seven brothers and i will definitely be looking to buy their beer again it's good i like this it's well balanced with the pineapple first and foremost it's beer 
with a touch of pineapple. I like that. that that's a really solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.